Hey, welcome to the Old Computer Museum and this is a Commodore 64 game called Desert Fox Desert Fox is a um, basically a tank a tank fighting game you control the tank in the desert and um, basically you have different campaigns and strategy type uh, of the game so you choose your gameplay so uh, you got practice and campaigns and you've got different types of gameplay so you got the Stuka attack basically you control your thing and planes come and try to destroy you so you gotta try and uh, shoot the planes before they attack you so um, and it, it's quite difficult because the game the, the actual planes are moving at such a uh, really moving in a, a, a awkward way as you can see from left to right so what you do is your cross needs to be on the plane at the moment of the strike from the missile that comes from your uh, tank. The awkward movements of the plane which are very random makes it extremely difficult to actually shoot down planes. And it was probably one of the only ways that they could have made this game a little more tougher because if they were just moving straight lines then it would have been more difficult. You've got a tank duel. Tiger. And of course you can set your uh, bottom, there's a radar. And the radar shows you the tanks. And uh, basically what you're doing is you're not really moving from uh, left to right or, or advancing, sorry. You're not really advancing. You're just moving left to right. And this makes this game extremely difficult. And you can see some of the tanks move so fast that they're almost impossible to, uh, to get. And of course, the uh, object of the game is to uh, actually do your missions without being killed. At the bottom, you've got your uh, status bar, or that little red bar that you see at the bottom. is the amount of uh, damage and energy left. So when I uh, get too much damage, that's when the game will end, actually. Overall, it's a simple but effective battle-type game. And um, I've actually surprised myself playing it for a little while because I find that it's actually really nice. You've got the minefield. Here you control your tank that's advancing. And you gotta actually be careful not to step on the mines. And you can see the mines where they're located. You can have them pass right in the middle where there's no wheels, but if they touch your wheels, they actually uh, will make you uh, damage your thing. What's interesting in the campaign mode of this game is that you actually have all of those um, all of those, sorry, all of those um, features in one gameplay. So, for example, in one campaign, you can have uh, shooting down planes. Then you'll have to move into the minefields, and then go into another place where you'll uh, have a tank duel. And as you can see, you gotta try and outlive as much as possible 
You can also see that the terrain changes as you're moving along. So uh, you've got the ambush attack. Ambush. And here you see that uh, you've got. To actually shoot down all enemies that guns that are on the sides there before they reach your tank actually because when they do reach the tank they actually shoot at you and damage your tank I give uh, Desert Fox for the counter 64 um, a score of uh, 7.5 out of 10 it's a uh, fun gameplay uh, the fact that you have different types of missions and different types of of gameplay in the same game makes it quite interesting, actually. And this is a convoy attack. Convoy. Nice to uh, actually basically here you have automatic. Shooting down. What you need to do though is to actually shoot the uh, red planes and forget about not to shoot down their green planes. Green planes are your uh, friends, the red planes are your enemies. So that's what makes this part difficult is the fact that you sometimes shoot down good guys. So, uh, really nice to, you know, have the different types of gameplays here, and um, when you're in the real game, as you can see here, you can uh, actually move and see what part of And here you can see that you can move your thing to different areas. And in the map, depending on where you are, you'll have different enemies to kill them. So this is the Counter 64 game called Desert Fox and uh, the only computer uh, that I know of that has this game is actually the Counter 64. I don't know if it's been uh, sent to other platforms and um, it's a uh, nice little shoot 'em up uh, type game. It's made by Accolade was released in 1985. So, um, if you enjoyed these lookbacks at old games, consoles, and emulation, click the subscribe button. If you, uh, maybe you have a comment on this game, you've played it and say, oh yeah, I played Desert Fox when I was young. What great memories. Uh, hey, tell us your little story about this game. Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't like it. Uh, hey, let us know, did you like it? Did you not like it? If you have any um, requests of games that you'd like to see, uh, let us know also. We'll try to put those games online for you. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, and also take a look at our other videos. We have lots and lots of videos of um, real machines like the Amiga 500, the Atari ST, 
And uh, we, you can also uh, take a look at emulation videos okay. from the uh, Commodore 64, um, Sega Genesis, sorry, playing the game. Um, also, some uh, Super Nintendo stuff, the Atari 2600 VCS, and uh, we'll have lots and lots more in the coming weeks and months. So, uh, I think it's a great place to come and watch our videos on the Old Computer Museum channel. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back. Bye-bye.